Okay, in today's video we are going to take a look at how you want to personalize the Toro University of California Blueprint. Now you'll note that all courses at Toro University of California have a standard blueprint that has been applied that already has some personalization to either the program or the college, but there's ways in which you are expected as an individual instructor or as a course coordinator for a team taught course there are ways in which you are expected to further personalize that blueprint for your individual course. So there are actually five specific things that you have to do and I'm going to walk you through each of these five steps here in a minute but basically there are five places that you need to personalize. So on the main page or the home page when you open up the course you will see in red and all of these places are indicated with red text usually inside of square brackets. So the first one is on the main page or the home page there's a spot for you to personalize. Under the start here item on the menu there are actually two things the course overview which is the first item on that uh, list of items and then the let's get started which is the last item. On the course menu from the home page, there's also the syllabus page, which needs to be personalized, and the instructor page. So let's take a look at each of these five things and how you might want to go about doing that. So first of all, this is one of the two versions of the blueprint that has been applied to all courses. In this instance, you can see the example is of public health, and I say two versions because there is one version that makes use of a modules style of design and there's one that makes use of a pages style of design. So this one makes use of the modules style because you can see that there's a modules button here. And as another example, this one right here, which is the one from the Osteopathic Medicine Program, you can see makes use of a pages model because there is no modules button here. And depending upon which of the two that you have, as it stands currently, the only program at Toro University of California that's using a pages model is the Osteopathic Medicine Program. All the other programs right now are using some version of the modules design. So on the front page here, or the home page, and this is the home page, and you know that because every time you click on the home button back there, this is the page that shows up. So you can see right off the bat that there is one thing that you need to do on this home page. There's a line there that says, Welcome to the course, and then it asks you to add in a couple of additional sentences, one or two additional sentences that welcome the students to the course. Now, if you're using the pages model like this, you'll also need to insert your menu item here, which will be something along the lines of links to the different modules or links to the content in each of the different weeks. If you're in the modules view, then basically you just need to add in that sentence or two, and that's really all you need to do. Now, regardless if you are in the modules view or the pages view, the next thing that you need, or the second thing that you need to do, is to click on the Start Here item on the menu. And when you do that, you will either get these five options as pages on a Start Here page, similar to what you see right here. So you see these five. Or, as you can see here in the modules view, you just see these five things here in the modules. Now, as I mentioned at the beginning, there are two areas here that you want to make sure that you edit. The first is the course overview page. So when I click on the course overview page, you will note that it provides the students essentially with an understanding of what all of the course terms mean. And the main thing that you need to do here, in fact, the only thing that you need to do is here at the very top, you will see that there is a link for the syllabus and then a link for the course schedule. And you can provide a link to the file that you have or you can uh, provide a link back to the syllabus page. Either of those two things is acceptable. If you choose not to provide links, just delete this red text that you see here and then leave it unlinked. Either of those options is acceptable, but one of those two you want to do. So going back again, 
The third thing that I'm going to need to update is in this Let's Get Started item. So when I click on the Let's Get Started item, you'll, it tells the students that they want to go in and update their profile and set their notifications. And then there's the word then there with an instruction. And this here is where you want to provide the students with any instructions that you want them to do prior to them arriving in their first class or if it's an online course prior to the beginning of the semester. So in some cases some faculty members have a syllabus quiz that they've already put into Canvas that they want students to complete before that first class so they know the students have read the syllabus. In other cases some people have a discussion item that just asks the students to introduce themselves so that way they can start to get to know each other before that first class. If you don't want the students to do anything prior to that first class, then in addition to deleting the instruction, also delete the word then and just leave it with those first two lines and that's it. Um, but there's a lot of things that you can do here. Some people like to dive right into the content on that first day. So they want students to come to class having already read you know, the first chapter in the book or, you know, this or that article so that they can, once they've gone through the syllabus and the other administrative items, dive right into the content. So this is where you would instruct the students on what to do in that respect. Those things you want them to do before they show up to that very first class that you're having. So the fourth area that you want to update is this instructor tab. So if you click on this instructor tab, you'll see that there is a blank picture that's there and then there's some John Doe information asking for your office and your phone number and your office hours. If you happen to use an online tool like Zoom when you're available during those hours or if it's only by appointment, you want to go in and update all of these things and you'll note not everything here is in red. So while the instructions are in red, things like the name, the picture, the email address, the room number, the rest of the phone number, um, the days and times, all of those things will need to be updated so that you can make them available to students. Now this is really useful if you have classes that are taught by a single individual or if they're only team taught by a couple of individuals. So if you have more than say three or four or five people then instead of filling out all of this information here what I might recommend is that you essentially have just the faculty's name, their email address, and then maybe a link to the faculty profile. You can find a link to the faculty profile by going to the Toro University of California website at tu.edu and under the faculty and staff link you'll see the fourth item down right now is a faculty and staff directory which takes you to this page and you can just go and locate the faculty member in questions profile. This is mine here so I would link in this website and as you'll note it provides all of the same information that we were looking for right here. So if you have a team taught course that has multiple instructors and if it means by adding all of them that this page here is going to get kind of really long and the students would have to scroll down a fair amount, I would just put the name, the email address and then link in the faculty profile for that individual and that way students can access the information that way. So the final area that you want to update is the syllabus. So if you go back to the main page again you'll see that the third button over is the syllabus. Now this one has several things that you want to update in here. Uh, the first, and we'd like you to include all of these things, this is all part of the format that we would like to see in all Toro University California courses. So even if this information is already included in a PDF or Word document of your syllabus, we would like you to copy and paste that information here as well. So the first thing that it asks you to do is to add the course description. So this is the information that would be included in Banner that provides the um, the two or three or four sentence description of the course that the students would have seen at some point already. 
Uh, the next thing that we'd like you to do is to copy and paste all of the course objectives here onto this page. The third thing that you can do, and this is one that depending upon the nature of your course you may or may not want to do, um, you can include a welcome video here. And if you are teaching the course by yourself or if it's only being team taught by one or two individuals, you might want to get together and to just do a basic screen capture where you say, hi, you know, I'm Michael Barber. I'm in the Graduate School of Education. I'm an associate professor of instructional design. I've been here at Toro University, California for two years now. And prior to that, I was at uh, Sacred Heart University in Connecticut and Wayne State University in Detroit. And I'm looking forward to the next X number of weeks together. You know, not necessarily something that detailed, something, you know, 60 seconds, uh, maybe two minutes, no more than three minutes at the tops, where you basically just introduce yourself and tell, your, tell the students a little bit about yourself. Then the fourth item that you want to do here is you want to link in either a word copy or a PDF of your syllabus. Um, so that would be what you would add here when it says view and download the syllabus. So you can just add a dash there and then just insert the link. Now for all of these pages, and I'm sure you know this already, but to edit any of these pages, all you have to do over here on the top right hand side is click on this edit button and it brings up the editor that you can use to make these adjustments. So those are the five features that you want to make sure that you update in each of your courses that you are teaching. And just as a review, again, it is the home page or the welcome page, that first screen. Then under the start here menu, there are two items, the course overview, which is the first item, and the let's get started item which is the last item. Then you want to do the syllabus page and then you want to update the instructor page. So that's how you would go about personalizing the Toro University California Blueprint to be specific to your individual course.